Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nice Mill tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about texture coordinates. First of all, what are texture coordinates? Texture coordinates, also commonly referred to as UV coordinates, are how we can specify what part of a texture we want to use. Texture coordinates always go from 0 to 1, no matter what the size of the image is. This way we can have textures of different sizes, but they all still fit on the same object. And because the number is always between 0 and 1, it's really easy to calculate the size of each segment of the image. Let's look at stock for, exa for example. What we can see is that there are 27 tucks in total, 9 rows of 3. So if you divide 1 by 3, we'll get the width of each stock, and we divide 1 by 9, we'll get the height of each stock. Now if we multiply these numbers by the index of each stock, we can calculate the u and the v offset for each stock. Let's say we want to use the tux to the bottom right of the corner. Then we'll multiply 1 third by 2, we start counting at 0, remember that, for the x in, uh, or u offset and we'll multiply a ninth by 8 for the y or v offset. Now that we know what the uv coordinates are, it's time to know how to use them in SFML. Do you remember that I said that uv coordinates always are from 0 to 1? Well, the makers of SFML decided that it would be easier to use the coordinates from 0 to the image size. This is not that big of a deal, but it does mean that we need to multiply our calculated uv coordinate with the size of the image. So let's start coding now. We do have to change some things first though. Since tux isn't a square, but it's a rectangle, we need to make the height of tux 150. This way our selected tux will not be cropped down into a square, but it will actually be the size that it needs to be. Next thing that we we'll need to do is we need to actually add texture coordinates. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we need to get the size of the texture, so we can divide it into smaller parts. So how do we get the size of a texture? Well, we simply type in player texture that gets size. And that will get us the size. And the size is going to be an SF vector to u. The u stands for unsigned integer. SF vector to u. So let's call this texture size. So what we should do now is divide the texture size by the amount of images that we have on the texture. So texture size.x divides equals 3, since we have three tuxes. Three. and texture size dot y divides equals nine because there are nine in the height. So now we have the size of one tux. So let's now select the last tux like we want it. In order to do that, we have to set the UV rect of the player. So we'll simply type in player that set texture rect. And this will take an SF interact. An SF interact simply contains an x and a y offset and a width and a height. So we're simply specifying the top left corner and then the width of a height of a single tux. So in order to change what tux we select, we simply just have to change the x and the y offset, since the width and the height is going to be the same for all different tuxes. So let's specify that. First, the width and the height. Since we specifically want this one, we need to specify the x offset as the width of a tux multiplied by 2, and the y offset as the height of a tux multiplied by 8, since it's 8 one down. So let's do that. Texture size.x multiply by 2, texture size dot y, multiply by 2, texture size dot x, because it's the width of each tux, and texture size dot y, because it's the height of each tux. So now if you run the program, you will see that we have a tux, but I made a mistake. <laughs> I'd have multiplied by 2 instead of by 8. So if you run it again, you will see that we have the correct tux. And what you also see is that our tux is not squished up anymore. So that's all I want to talk about in this episode. In the next episode, we're going to talk about animation. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.